I knew you would come. Yeah, well, don't get any ideas about me being your sidekick. But I'm on the trail of the Carnage Killer, and tracking's a little out of my wheelhouse. Ah, yes, the killer. I thought he might be you. But I have watched you, and I see that you are no madman. You spied on me? Only briefly. There is much a hunter can learn from observation. I see. In the way you carry yourself like a lost child. That you lack someone to guide you. To help you become a man. I have no son of my own. I do not want my legacy to die with me. I can make you the ultimate hunter. Let us work together to... to find this carnage killer and suppress the crime wave. Let us do together what we could not do alone. I'm still gonna operate on my own. Of course, as will I. But we will be there for each other when it is needed. I sent you an address. There is a back alley from which the Russians move stolen Oscorp equipment to a safe house. Use the little fish to catch the big ones. Yeah, I've heard that before. It is tempting to catch the easiest prey. But in our case, the most obvious criminals are the most inconsequential. Wait. Follow them. See where they go. I get that, but I'm not gonna let anyone get hurt. If I see these guys threatening someone's life, they're going down. Illegal money is usually paid in cash. If you follow low-level criminals, they drop off their earnings. They will lead you to the next rung of the ladder. You are doing well. Now listen. Higher-level criminals prefer to keep a low profile. But just as animals must visit a watering hole, they must go their money and pay those above them I'll give them this the way these guys hustle all over the city they're getting one heck of a cardio workout often the higher level criminals will lead you to legitimate businesses that serve as a front to launder the illegal income it is here you will find their bosses who pretend that respectability I have to admit Craven all this is leading me to the big fish I never used to find before. Thanks. Like a pride of lions, when the leader's feet is an outside predator, they will call their soldiers together for protection. And every crook in New York is afraid of the carnage killer. When I find where they're holed up, it'll be like one-stop shopping. You are learning, but stealth is crucial. Even you cannot fight all of them at once. Just what I needed. Excellent! The trap will be here soon! Get the package ready! Gotta get a photo of that crate of Oscorp tech, so I can trace it. Couldn't ask for a better picture. That Oscorp tech will go to their superior. It's heavier Do than your mother. You drop that. I'll stick I'm to not it like taking the well, blame for me. you. 
Quick, get the crate loaded before someone sees us! Can't lose that truck. It's my ticket to the Russian secret clubhouse. They're slippery. Better catch up. Stick to it like, well, me. Craven's tips are paying off. I get the feeling they're a lot. I'm guessing this isn't a restaurant guide. The Carnage Killer. These must be all the places where he killed these guys' friends. A lot more than the police know about. I know what Craven would say. A clearer picture of the Predator's hunting grounds. This is where all the cool gangsters hang out. They're so cute when they're asleep. Did you hear? Fisk is already rich, but he's holding a fundraiser, a party, to ask other rich men for money to fight crime. Uh, he wants to fight us, eh? Fine. Let's see if he has the stomach for it. Have you seen him? She has the stomach for anything! <laughs> Fear everyone to me! Can you at least say some fun bad guy things like, Curse you, Spider-Man! I love that one. This keeps up, they'll notice me for sure. Oh, that was fun. Let's do it again. equipment like this. Hmm. Harry won't mind if I borrow this for a little while. You 
be dead before you see me move. Better go see what that was. I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. Be that fast. Okay, lady, how much coffee did you drink? I'm gonna guess this was not a meeting of the Wilson Fisk fan club. Craven, I'm sending you pictures. The first one looks like a map of places the Carnage Killer struck. Next up is a flyer for an anti-crime fundraiser hosted by Wilson Fisk. I think they're gonna try and kill him there. Even if Fisk is crooked, I can't let them do that. Especially with all those innocent people around. The fundraiser is tonight. They will have put their plan into action already. You must go to the location and stop them. Just one problem. I don't have an invitation. I'm guessing you don't either. Then we must improvise. I am too well known to bypass security. But... Here's a hint. I'm not rich enough to go to this. Then you will find a way. I believe in you. I kinda have a feeling he's not the most approachable guy in the world. None of it matters if I can't get inside. Wait, I think I've got it. With that fundraiser's level of security, I can't use my press pass to bluff my way in. Unless I'm really supposed to be there. A photographer needs a reporter. And I bet I know one who's already planning to go. Thanks again for using me on this. Hey, I get it. College is expensive. You want to make easy money taking boring pictures of wrinkly rich people? Go nuts! But you should probably stay away from me. Let me guess, you've got some pointed questions about the task force? Among other things. I give it ten minutes before I get kicked out. <laughs> hey, Harry! <laughs> Pete! <laughs> oh man, I, I know we haven't seen each other much since we were kids. But this doesn't seem like your kind of scene. Society pages. I'm a part-time photographer for the Bugle. Smile. Great. Got it. Thanks. Fisk is putting a pretty big target on his back. Why do you think he does it? He grew up in Hell's Kitchen. Lots of crime, gangs. Hmm. I think this is his way of taking control. Hmm. Standing up to the guys who bullied him when he was a kid. But knowing Fisk, he's also got a plan in place to profit from it. Hmm. Whitney Chang says the cops on the task force are crooked too. I just supply the tech. Fisk handpicked the men. But the police chief cleared them all. The chief's desperate to stop the crime wave. He's not gonna argue with the guy who's helping him do that. Well, one thing's for sure. The task force is getting results. And no one likes to mess with success. Huh. Hey, I gotta ask. Why Fisk? I hear some pretty shady rumors about him. He's the only one rich enough who is willing to work with me. I've got, I've got a lot on my plate. I can't waste time worrying about people attacking Oscorp. And our public image could use a boost. I'll tell you this though. The rumors are true. Fisk is definitely into some illegal stuff. But good luck proving it. Drinks, gentlemen.
Dick, dick. Dick, 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 dick. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, you know, don't worry about it. I gotta go anyways. I've got uh, important things to do. Me too. Something fishy about that guy. Better follow him. Time to get into my work clothes. Doorbell. Guess I better get creative. Please, what do you want? From you, nothing. We just need your waiter uniform, so we can serve Fisk as... Deep. This one time I caught somebody who was a real loser, and they were sneaky. I was so scared. <laughs> Why can't they all be... Smashing. Thank you, indeed. Open sesame! Okay, that didn't work. On the plan B. You won't get me so easily, Spider! Well, I saved Fisk from the Russians. Now to find out if I have to save anyone else from him. Time to mingle. See what these big shots have to say about what's going on. the gangs have all this money, and the police have to deal with budget cuts. That's why this fundraiser is so important. We need the task force to make it a fair fight. Have you seen the task force equipment? 
State of the art. It's about time we got serious about cleaning up these streets. Sure, I've heard the rumors about this, but let's be honest. How many men get to be that successful without getting their hands dirty? So, uh, this is gonna sound like a bad pickup line, but you seem really familiar. Have we met? Judging from your bargain <laughs> basement suit, I doubt we move in the same circles. Oh, I get it. Born with a silver spoon in your mouth, huh? <laughs> Hardly. For me, silver's an acquired oh, taste. Uh, well, uh, I'm here for the Daily Bugle, so, uh... You know anything interesting about Fisk? I know he hangs out with rich older men, and you're scaring him off. So I'll have to say goodbye. <laughs> Look me up when you move out of your mom's basement. I don't live with my mom. <laughs> I live with my aunt. Well, nice meeting you. Um, my name's Peter. <laughs> As if you care. I'm Felicia. <sighs> but what? How to make an entrance, blotting out the sun. Time to talk to the big man himself. Hey, back off. Uh, should I tell Whitney Chang he has no comment on the Russian mobsters tied up downstairs? It's all right. I like this young man's boldness. He mustn't reveal that to anyone. It would play into the criminal's hands. They want to make people afraid to support my anti-crime efforts. But if no one knows what they did, they'll get away with it. And try again. Oh, I assure you. They will not get away with it. Meaning what, exactly? <laughs> well, the, the task force will get them, of course. <laughs> We've been gathering intelligence on this organization for some time. But no one's been able to stop them yet. Not the police, not Spider-Man. Don't say that name to me! Spider-Man. He fancies himself a hero. But he's let crime run rampant. The police are bound by the laws of probable cause. Spider-Man is not. If he hasn't stopped this scum by now, he's either incompetent... ...or he simply doesn't care. What's your beef with Spider-Man? Seems like you're after the same thing. If Spider-Man is going to operate outside the law, one would think he can accomplish things more... expediently. But he contents himself with apprehending purse snatchers. He's a dilettante. A thrill-seeker. Worse than useless. Still, he does seem popular with children. In fact, I recently secured his likeness rights. <laughs> you what? How about this Carnage Killer? Is the task force chasing him? We are interested in catching anyone who commits a crime. But it's a lot harder to find one man than an entire gang of them. And I bet the fact he's killing guys you don't like doesn't exactly bother you. 
I do not condone murder, of course. But am I shedding tears for his victims? <laughs> no, I am not. Gathering intelligence, huh? Find out anything interesting? The Russians are clever. They operate in cells, each knowing very little about the others. <laughs> when one group is taken down, it rarely leads to further arrests. But someone's got to be calling the shots. Well, they do have a central base of operations, but very few know where it is. Finding it will be another matter entirely. It's this very war that will be the end of the gangs. The more they escalate, the harder it becomes for them to hide. Wait, are you saying the Russians are still smuggling guns into the city? Don't put words in my mouth, young man. I'm just a backer. I leave the crime fighting to train professionals. Now excuse me, I have funds to raise. Yeah, I've got, uh, important things to do, too. idiot see us relax we set the car on fire ten blocks away they're distracted by that done this kind of heavy lifting in years. Ugh, me neither. But there's a reason we've lasted this long. Not many of our soldiers even know about this place. Yeah, here. I guess everyone's a big shot. When you put forth this weak an effort, I feel like you don't respect me. And this is what everyone fears? <laughs> He's a joke! <laughs> like I like my chocolate, melted in tiny little pieces.
The police report said four containers were stolen from Oscorp. That means I'm halfway there. I just called David. He says the Carnage Killer's still tied up. Not do we know it's just one man. Maybe he has friends. Maybe there's an army of them. Maybe your mother dropped you on your head too many times. Just be ready for anything. <clears throat> with catchphrases. Can't leave dangerous weapons lying around. Do what I do best. Break things. And boom goes the dynamite. <clears throat> Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. Some days you just got it. Bad guys shouldn't have nice weapons. We'll leave them out where anything could happen. I'm telling you, he's right where we left him. Your men are panicking like children. I believe you. Just show me so I can tell them I saw it with my own eyes. Better yet, take a picture with your phone. You can show them yourself. We've bitten him senseless. <laughs> And me without my marshmallows. Please, I keep telling you, I'm not who you think I sell advertising. Then why did someone break in here to save you, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Makes sense now, eh? A weakling like you could never kill our men alone. Tell us who you're working with. Talk! Oh, nobody. Oh, please. Please, nobody. Oh. That guy's no killer. Shh. People work around here. I'll give you anything you want. Just don't hurt me. Quiet down. And I'll make you wish you had. They're killing you. Now take some time to think about what you did wrong. Spider-Man! <laughs> 
I knew it! He's working with a killer! Working with the Carnage Killer, you'd be dead right now. Be glad you were wrong. These guys seem to think you killed a bunch of their friends. It's not true. It's not true. I, I was going to my car, and I saw someone attack one of these Russian guys. He's the killer, not me. How'd you end up here? I, I yelled. Then the killer ran. I went to see if I could help the victim. Then his friend showed up. My hands were bloody. They wouldn't believe that I didn't do it. This man you say was the real killer. What does he look like? White, uh, red hair, skinny, wild eyes. The strength of a madman, not the kind of madman I work with. Your license says you live in Jersey. If you can prove you weren't in the city when the carnage killer struck, I'll let you go. No problem. I was in San Diego all last week, at a convention. That's the ambulance I called. You'll be okay now. Craven, I've got a description of the Carnage Killer. Excellent. I've used the map you provided to identify his hunting grounds. Do you think he'll be out tonight? A true predator never stops the hunt, my friend. Meet me at the location I'm sending you. Him. Wait. You can only truly know your prey by watching him stalk his own. Oh, please, dude. I didn't have anything to do with that drive-by. I was just a wheel man. Wheel man? <clears throat> who saw all those people die? Yeah. Oh, you admit it? Good. Now you're going to tell me all about it. Then you're going to give me answers. <laughs> The spider. I'm a big fan of the look, but your execution? Boring. You know, real spiders liquefy their prey from the inside. You should think about it. And you're the carnage killer. Why'd you do it? I get having a grudge against criminals, but- Not criminals. Killers. No one knows death better. What do they see when they feel her cold arms wrap around them? What special insights do they have? <laughs> There's so much to learn. You're crazy. And you're welcome. For what? Doing what you want to, but can't. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'll show you. I could teach you how to be a real predator. Take off your mask, Spider-Man. 
I need to see your eyes when you die. I know the truth. In your darkest moments, you wish you were strong enough to be like me. Admit it. Give in to it. That's it. Go ahead. Kill me. You know you want to. No, I don't kill. <laughs> I told him you'd never be like me. <laughs> Thanks for the help. You chose to disregard my advice. So, I assumed you preferred to handle matters yourself. What was that, anyway? You expected me to just stand there and watch him kill that guy? Or stop him. Permanently. I am trying to unleash the killer instinct in you, boy. The one you try so hard to deny. That's not who I am. And it's not who I want to be. Ever. Then, there will always be a greater predator. Then you. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Thanks for the smooth ride. I sincerely hope I can return the courtesy by slaughtering you quickly and with minimal agony. Good day, Mr. Cassidy. My name is Donald Mencken. I want to assure you that you are a most valued guest here at Ravencroft. We're going to learn a lot from you. And I'll learn a lot from you. Answers you don't even know you have. <laughs> Start it, shall we? trying to build an empire. Escort units, move into position around the convoy. Keep your eyes peeled. We're moving this evidence because too many bad guys want it. Don't expect them to let it go without a fight. to the hood. That occult crap totally creeps me out. Makes me feel better you're helping us. Thanks. My pleasure. The last thing any of us need is more dangerous stuff on the streets. Not being very subtle, are they? Stop there! We'll fill you full of holes! Be cool, we just want your cargo. Think about it! Is that stuff worth your life? <laughs> nice going, 
Spidey. Jump on. I have a feeling there's more where that came from. Spider-Man, do me a favor and look up ahead. Car's wired to explode. Gotta try to neutralize him. Booyah! Dumped it. They're persistent. The car bombs. If they go off here, it'll be a disaster. far. Well, might as well check it out. My reputation's bad enough without getting blamed for pilfering Picassos. You know, I'd love to know how the task force is gonna stop the crime wave when all they ever do is come after me. Yo, I bet that's worth some bank. Hands off. Stick to the plan. We're waiting for the spider. You set off an alarm and bring the cops, no amount of money's gonna save you from the kingpin. You dig? Yeesh. They're setting a trap for me with idiots like this? <laughs> Not gonna happen. Better take out the cameras, or the cops will blame this all on me. Let's see what I can do before they figure out I'm here. Why did it have to be a museum? Museums are lame. I feel like I'm back in school. 
They had field trips in reform school. Yeah, shut your mouth and do your job. The lady says museum, we go to the museum. Lots to steal in museums. Great. I think I know who's about to cross my path. Huh? I see him! Here, he's right here! What? What I'm about to do to these crooks is unsuitable for some audiences. Huh? Hey, pay attention! I'm not gonna do this again for your benefit! No fancy tricks, time to fight like massive! Everything working out. Alicia! Why am I not surprised? Oh, it's not a relationship game. Let's see what I can do to bring the excitement back. What? I can check that one off my list. Huh? Got the spider! Hey, Bald, that you? <laughs> what? It's not fun. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. I expected better from you, Felicia. What am I supposed to do? Work in retail? You don't need hot guys in skin tight spider costumes selling shoes. You could have hooked up with me. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I meant work with me. You're gonna take down bad guys instead of being one? It's my nature to break the rules, Spider. You should try it sometime. You might like getting a little naughty. But working for the Kingpin, Felicia? What? This ain't right. We weren't supposed to fight the spider alone. You were supposed to help us, lady. Let that be a lesson to you, fellas. Follow a woman just because you like the way she fills out a cat suit? You'll be disappointed every time. That's a first. No man. Should I have served my time like a good little girl? Get out when I'm old and wrinkly? I don't think so. You're saying the Kingpin got you out of jail? How much power does this guy have? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Power. His, yours, and mine. <laughs> Don't feel bad. You're not... You're not... All right, you're not good. I like to play rough. <laughs> You're just dying to get your hands on me. And the judges get. <sighs> Are you deliberately moving really slowly? Is this like some sort of mime thing? <sighs> Now you know how the other guy feels when you hide in the shadows. And he! Why must you always make things so hard? <laughs> Now I'm starting to think you're not really trying. I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. It's your fault it's come to this. Win is a win. This one time I fought somebody who was a real loser, and they were still better than you. 
going to all this trouble for little old me. You must really care. <laughs> Just a little. Your heart wasn't in this, Felicia. Tell me what he did to you. I was transferred to Ravencroft. The Kingpin came to see me. Just to be clear, we're talking about Wilson Fisk. Yes. He said he knew I was after power and and he could give it to me. You'd owe him. That's how it always works, isn't it? The doctors did experiments. They called it DNA crafting or crisscrossing. Cross-species genetics? You've seen what can happen. Why would you do that to yourself? Boy, you are thick. I did it for you, so I'd be like you, so we could be together. But then the Kingpin ordered me to kill you or die myself. I couldn't. I can't. Felicia, I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face. Just your lips. I, I can get you help. Uh, witness protection. A new life safe from the Kingpin. And... Maybe... Maybe someday we can get to know each other like normal people. I don't want to be normal people. Run away with me. We'll go somewhere exotic. With our power, we can live like royalty. Adventure, excitement, romance. And that sounds terrible to you. No, but I've got... responsibilities. Well, I'm not one of them. Don't worry about me. I've always done fine with a target on my back. I can't just let you go. Fisk owns too many Kami any more than I can do it to you. You ever decide you want some fun in your life? Look me up. Please, wait! It all makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. Everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more, inside information on Fisk. I've got an old friend who can get it. Spider-Man! Harry's more likely to talk to his old pal Peter Parker than some nut in a costume. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. <sighs> Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books, so technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe... You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? <sighs> Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about.
Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure, but it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it, and protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. <sighs> but it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. my butt look big, somebody would tell me, right? It's just in. Webs need something to stick to. We have a report of suspects attempting to enter a locked building. Here's a crazy idea. Maybe finish this up before the police get here. Booyah! You're all hat, no cat. Ah, poor Harry. I want to help him. I was but really scared. Not the that someone might see him fighting in the <laughs> Neighborhood residents thanked Spider-Man for cleaning up their community, calling him, quote, one of us. <clears throat> Wonder what Jonah Jameson complained about before I came along. Traffic? If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. He's in no need to wait. this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him.
You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune! They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, no, just... just go. Harry's really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. Now discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. But maybe I can still find some answers. Craven's gone, but he left in a hurry. I bet there's evidence here if I look hard enough. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, and how to beat them. And how best to set a trap. You're a fake, a coward. This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. <laughs> the antidote I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you could eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rival. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful for a time. He sowed fear and me. Hard to spot him in those trees, but we have to try. There is no escape. that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test to see how strong you could be. You could stomach this. I admit, you disappointed me. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. That's not fun. Come get me, boy. I 
get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. You grasp at shadows. Grease, gotta find him before he springs a trap. You've been a poor sport. No one dies! I beg you, kill me. Give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven. But you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the Kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged, useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. 